to remove the electric fan. Now I'm going to take the overflow hose off the radiator. Set that aside. 10 millimeter wrench. And the electrical connector is right there, but I'm gonna loosen up this bolt first. I'm gonna take this one out. Set those aside. Let's grab this connector and disconnect it. So you're gonna push down on that tab on the bottom here. And then pull. Now with the two mounting bolts on the top off, the electrical connector disconnected, we're just gonna slide it up because it's two ears that line it up on the bottom. There it is. So we have one ear here and should be one there, it's broken. 10 millimeter wrench or socket. You have two mounters on the top. We have to take off these screws right here, one there, and then one down there, and then these are the mounts for the radiator. So we'll have to take those off too. So this is a T30 Torx bit socket. Okay, that doesn't have to come off. So now you can just grab it, try to weasel it through. Now that the top of the radiator supports out of the way, you can slide that right by, pull that shroud out. You can slide the new one in, and you, eventually you're going to line up those slots on the bottom. So those tabs line right up and lock in, and you'll bolt it to that. But me not, meantime, we got to move it forward like that. So now we can put this bracket back in, and it goes, try to move the radiator forward as much as possible. You don't want these on top like that. You want to make sure those go underneath. Just like that. So I'm going to put this mounted bolt back in on this side and then put the four Torx bit heads, start them in place. I'm not going to tighten anything down until everything's in place. I'm going to mount this one first. Then I'm going to mount this one. Try to line up the old um, bolt markings. Do the same on the other side. Line the two tabs up on the bottom, and then put this mounting bolt in first. And the hose has got the other bolt on it. Line that one up. That is a 10 millimeter socket or wrench. Obviously, you want the uh, clamp not pinching the hose. You're going to line these tabs on the bottom of the fan in with the slots of the radiator bracket. So just kind of guide it in there. And put your hand down there if you can. Make sure it's in the slots. There we go. Put your two bolts in. Snug those up. Now we get our fan electrical connector. Run it 
up over, get our connector and put her in. Done. Let's connect the overflow hose. All set.